The Bureau of Meteorology has made a big announcement this week. We are officially experiencing an El Nino or El Nino event. It's all to do with ocean temperatures and ocean patterns. I'm not gonna talk about why. I'm gonna talk about what that means for you and your garden. In short, an El Nino event basically just means that there is a greater than average likelihood of warmer and drier conditions. We already knew there was an El Nino alert out. That meant that there was likely to be warmer and drier conditions for spring. We now know that it's not just a warning, it's actually happening, it's here, uh, and it's not just spring. It's spring and summer. So this is gonna be an extended warmer and drier period. For our environment, it's not great, but for our garden, we certainly can use this information to our advantage to maximize how much produce and the type of produce that we grow in the months ahead. The biggest benefit to this news is that we can get some of our summer veggies into the ground earlier than you otherwise would. If like me, you're in Melbourne, you'll know we've already been having some really warm weather. I took advantage of that and I've got my beans in already. And you can see they're already starting to flower. Same again in my greenhouse. Check this out. Can you see that tiny, I'm gonna turn this around, tiny little one up there. That's a real bean growing and it is way too early technically for them to be doing that well. The next thing you need to factor in is watering. There will be less rain than usual. Those of you who follow my channel know I do a lot of my gardening in pots. Small pots will be particularly susceptible to drying out. So if you're gonna be planting in pots this year, I would opt for bigger pots. You can also go all out like I have on these two, which I'm super excited about. Again, if you follow this channel, you'll know these are new. These are wicking beds. So really, really water efficient. You water from the bottom, they drain upwards and use a lot less water. And it means if you do go away for a few days, your plants are gonna be absolutely fine. These ones are called food cubes. They are brand new and I'm so excited to give them a go. I'll have a completely separate video on that. If you wanna learn about them, click the subscribe button and it will be coming soon. So if you're starting to prepare your spring and summer beds, start thinking about that now. You might not be in the position to be able to buy a wicking bed, but there are plenty of awesome DIY options that you can use just by Google, how to make your own wicking bed online. You might think warmer and drier means reduced risk of frost. Not necessarily. If it's drier, that means there is less cloud coverage. And while it's gonna be warmer on average, we will still have cold days. So no cloud coverage on a cold day does in fact increase the risk of frost. If you want to plant your summer veggies early, which I'm certainly going to, you do need to keep an eye on the forecast and make sure you're aware of those nights that are high frost risk nights and have a plan in place to somehow cover them and protect your veggies like your tomatoes that are really susceptible to frost damage. These are naturally seeded tomatoes that have come through from my compost. They are happy healthy because we've had warm weather already. But it's an indication that nature knows what's happening. This one wasn't naturally seeded. I planted this one as a test. Again, way too early technically for Melbourne, but I'm just gonna give it a go and see what happens. If you wanna plant your tomatoes now, my advice would be only plant those that you are prepared to lose because it is a gamble, but it's a fun one. But this season, all your usual rules go out the window. Don't be afraid to experiment. Use some plants that you are prepared to lose if it doesn't work out and just give it a go. I run a full garden tour every single month. The next one's coming up in October. Hit subscribe if you want to follow along and see what we're growing here in our suburban backyard in Melbourne. If you can see that little bit of wood up the back there, that's something pretty exciting that's happening in our garden at the moment. It is construction zone here. I'm not going to show you yet, but I'm going to show you very soon. Hit subscribe, whack the like button if this was helpful. Chat to you soon.